Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and we want to take a look today how Binance, the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, actually works. How you can trade there, how you can deposit some money there and what you have to know before you trade there. First of all, as I already said, Binance is the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. There are several reasons for that. Um, one is actually that they have probably the most coins and they have a very high liquidity. So you can trade most coins there without affecting the price too much. And you will actually also have very low fees if you trade there. So there are a lot of advantages if you trade on Binance. And since a couple of months, I also have the option to deposit fiat currencies like Euro, for example, or British Pound on Binance via a bank transfer or with your credit card. So you can also do that now on Binance. If you don't have a Binance account yet, I put a link down in the description that you can use to sign up. With that link, you will actually save 10% on fees when you trade on Binance. So in order to sign up, you just need to leave your email address there and a password, and then you can open up an account. However, if you want to deposit fiat currencies there, like Euro or British Pound, um, you have to verify your identity. And that's the first thing I want to show you today. So in order to verify your identity, just click here. And then I'm already verified. Otherwise, it would give you here a link where you can click on it. And then you need to upload a passport or a photo ID in order to verify your identity. The advantage of verifying your identity is you can deposit and withdraw fiat currencies. And you can and withdraw more than two BTC per day. So there are no limits then. However, if you don't need that, you don't need to verify your identity. You are totally fine on Binance um, to leave it as it is without verifying yourself if you don't want to deposit fiat, for example. Once you have an account, you can actually start trading. However, the first thing you need to do is you need to deposit some money into your account. And in order to do that, we are going to click here on Fiat and Spot Wallet. So that's the place where you can deposit like euros or British pounds or any other cryptocurrency that is traded on Binance. So for example, you can just deposit Bitcoin here. Just click on deposit and then it gives you a Bitcoin address where you can um, send your Bitcoins to in order to deposit them on Binance or you can choose any other cryptocurrency here. Or as I said, you can just deposit some fiat currencies like euros. Um, just type in how much you want to deposit. And then you have to know it's actually free to do a bank transfer. So if you wire 100 euros to Binance, you will receive 100 euros. However, if you um, send or if you use your credit card, they charge you a 1.8% fee. However, it's usually a bit faster to use your credit card than doing a bank transfer. So you have to keep that in mind. Once you have done that, the next thing we can look at is actually, or actually the wallets. So we click on overview here and there are several wallets on Binance. So the most common one is a fiat and spot wallet where your regular cryptocurrencies are and your fiat currencies. And then there are several others like cross or isolated margin. So if you trade with leverage, you need these wallets or futures. If you trade futures, so with high leverage, you need the futures wallets. And then there's a Binance earn wallet where you can um, deposit some money in order to earn some interest with it. I will show you that later. And you can also apply for the Binance crypto credit card. Um, and with that Visa card, you can actually spend your cryptocurrencies. And there's also a separate wallet for that. And you can transfer money between these wallets instantly without paying any fee. So it's actually free to, for example, transfer money from your spot wallet to your futures wallet. And it usually takes less than a second. And you can, of course, transfer it back anytime. So that's quite convenient. So the next thing we want to look at is how you can actually trade. So there are several ways to trade on Binance. So for example, you can just go to Fiat 
and spot and then they give you the option to convert cryptocurrencies to other cryptocurrencies or you can go on markets here so that's the most common way that's actually how you trade and then you can just look for the trading pair that you want to trade let's say you want to trade bitcoin against euro for example could also trade against tether for example or british pound or whatever you want However, the interface would always look the same, just the trading pair would be different. And then you have the chart here, so how the price developed. So one candle here is one day. However, you can change that to one hour, for example. Then you would have hourly candles. And then you have the order book here with the latest sell orders and the latest buy orders in green. And the latest trades that happened are here. So if you want to buy something, you have to make sure that you are on spot, um, cross 3x and isolated 5x basically uh, means that you are trading with margin. However, we won't go into that today because it's more for advanced users and you shouldn't really do that at the beginning. You also pay a fee if you borrow or if you trade with leverage. So um, don't do that if you're new to it. So we will focus on spot trading. So that's also the most common thing on Binance. And there you have the option to do a market or a limit order. A market order is pretty straightforward. You just say, okay, I want to invest all my euros into Bitcoin and click the buy button. Or you say, okay, I want to sell all my Bitcoin um, or 50% of my Bitcoin or whatever you want to sell and click the sell button. And then it immediately buys or sells your Bitcoin. So you don't have to worry about anything else. A limit order is a bit more complicated. So you can say, okay, I want to buy Bitcoin, for example, if the price goes to, I don't know, 40,000, can for example say 40,000 um, euros. And then you would do a limit order and the order would only get executed or filled. And once the price drops to that level, and the same is true for a sell order. You can also say, okay, I want to sell like all my Bitcoin here in that wallet. If the price goes to 100,000 100, US dollar. So that's basically it. And then you can click sell BTC. And here the order would be written in the order book and it would stay there until the price reaches that level. If it never reaches that level, the order would stay there um, forever. However, you can of course cancel them every time. So we just canceled the sell order so we won't sell our Bitcoins. Okay, that's basically how you trade on Binance. It, it would basically look the same for every other trading pair. So for example, one inch against Bitcoin and so on. And here it always takes the uh, money you have in your spot wallet. So that's basically how you trade on Binance. Remember a market order gets filled immediately, a limit order only if a certain price is reached. So next thing we want to look at is convert. Of course you can always convert between two currencies. Let's say you have Tether in your account. If you want to convert to Bitcoin, you can just preview conversion here, and then you can just convert. However, usually I'm converting somewhere, something from one currency to another is a bit more expensive in fees. And there are a lot of special requirements. Um, so there's a higher minimum that you need to convert and uh, there's only a certain amount you can convert. However, that's why most people usually trade markets and it's also more transparent to trade markets. However, they also give you the option to convert between different cryptocurrencies. You can just um, pick here any cryptocurrency you want to convert to any other cryptocurrency. So you can use that as well, of course. So there are several other things that you can do. So there's derivatives, that's basically futures trading. I made a different video about that. So it's actually more for advanced users. You can buy and short cryptocurrencies here. You can trade with high leverage. 
So Bitcoin, for example, with a leverage of 125x. Um, however, you can also get liquidated there very quick if, if you trade with 100% leverage. So price will drop less than 1%, you would actually get liquidated and lose your funds. So it's really more for advanced users. And then there is um, another section here called Binance, um, Binance Finance or Finance. And there you can, for example, apply for your Visa card, for a Binance Visa card. And you can also use Binance Earn where you can earn some interest on your cryptocurrencies that you have on Binance. So the only thing you need to do there is you need to transfer them from your spot wallet to your Binance Savings wallet. It as well goes immediately within a second. And then you can start earning there. And it depends if you do flexible savings or locked savings. Sometimes um, you can withdraw them anytime. Sometimes it's for a fixed amount of time. So for example, locked savings, it's for a fixed amount of time. And so you wouldn't be able to withdraw during that time. However, with flexible savings, um, you can withdraw at any time. So that's basically Binance Earn. And it's also pretty safe um because how they are actually able to earn interest is they lend the money out to traders however um if the traders lose too much money they will get liquidated and then binance makes sure makes sure that you get all your money back and plus interest so you can't really use your money here the only exception would be if binance would get hacked and everyone loses loses its money on binance and besides that, um, it's pretty safe to use. So maybe one more thing we can look at are the fees. So there are, the fees really depend on the trading volume. So let's assume we are trading less than 50 Bitcoins per month. Then we pay 0.1% per trade. And if we use BNB, so you just need to have some BNB in your account, like $10 and would be already enough or even less um, and if you switch that on and you can also find that here if you click here you would see that again that switch and where you can actually switch that on and then um, you can actually save 10 percent at 25 percent on trading fees and if you use the link you can save another 10 percent so it costs you less than 0.1 percent to actually trade on binance and which is really cheap compared to other platforms. Coinbase, for example, you pay, if you do bank transfer, 1.49%. So it's way more expensive than Binance. So that's basically everything you need to know about Binance at the beginning. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you don't have an account, please use the link to sign up in order to save 10% on fees. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.